bad luck today. That must be incredibly disappointing. The weather hasn't been ideal in qualifying. What's your take on it? It looks like your rival bested you today, doesn't it? Your qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. Will this be a problem tomorrow? Do you have any comments about this team? Great. Well, that's everything. We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times. And in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. Spa-Francorchamps then, a 4.35 mile tour of the Ardennes countryside with nine right corners and 10 left corners, giving us a grand total of 19. Average lap speeds in the dry can reach about 145 miles per hour, but without a significant improvement in these conditions, we won't be seeing anything like that today. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let's have a chat about McLaren. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position, with Daniel Ricciardo slotting in alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Sainz, Perez, Vettel and Pierre Gasly, Stroll, Raikkonen, Fernando Alonso, and Mick Schumacher, Ocon, Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty, Antonio Giovinazzi and George Russell, Mazepin, Latifi, Armstrong and Ali. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track.
What a great race then, and what a magnificent victory here at the Belgium Grand Prix. What do you think it was, Ants, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ants, who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Fernando Alonso. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance every time, just like he's done today. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw okay. the recent well, video interesting, we'll share the comment the right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 9-5. You all have a great day, and peace out.